Um, I can't believe that this has been going on in this beautiful space for 13 years, and this is my first time here. <laughs> but thank you to everybody. Yeah. I'm going to start off with a little love poem. I can find out. Ah. So I'm going to start off with a couple from Blue Gate and then um, I have a couple of new things that I, uh, I'm pretty sure are going to change but it'd be nice to share them just to see um, what you think. Be happy to hear that. Asleep you are a dark lake near, swell and lap, swell and lap, your breathing. How you glisten at the edge where my fingers slip at the supple margins, subtle crevice, the glossed pebble, then water all round, ample, and so close I cannot tell the separations in us. Your hand is all your own though, plain and large, that reaches for my thigh, finds a hold there, stays as though it were a shore, as though abandoned were never, ever incomplete. And so I stay also, watch you, and the other luminosities I do not know, how deep lake does not diminish light, nor longest night subsume it, each one a shining, each of us a stone's almost song, a wave unfolding. So when I was preparing today, I was thinking about, um, I don't get to read love poems all the time, <laughs> um, except at this time of year, often. And um, But the other thing that I was most proud about um, in connection to queer communities is our support for and understanding for the need of um, liberation. And so, um, that's a part of um, my queer identity that I can't take apart from any of the rest of them. <laughs> um, so I'm going to, some of the poems then will be about how when communities come together um, to support equality rights of any kind. And we have lots of work to do all over the place with regard to that. that um, that that's a really important part of what it means to be queer to me. So I just have to find what I'm looking for. There we go, okay. So this one was written um, during the Picton inquiry, so it's not the the most recent uh, national inquiry for murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls, but the one that was specific to um, the region here. Um, and uh, um, it wasn't very well thought through, that inquiry. And so a bunch of um, organizing happened around it, and there was um, a demonstration on the day that it opened. Um, we just took over a, an intersection. Um, so this is about that. I didn't have to do any of the organizing, which was the other part of it, because a bunch of younger women had taken it on and they did a beautiful job. So that was also cool. Something in the long bone of the thigh asks music, Homespun, the notes rustle and sure, trouble her, stir low at the join of the hip. The waiting so long, so long her head bent toward the belly of things underneath as water, 
So long and inside the city today is shorn, unmasked. The metal and mirror inquiry shudders. Drum circle of terrible knowledge spirals up the intersection. Hearts steam to vapor. In air, the gut singing, the torn from us presences come to shine as daylight's last flare, its hot detox. Then the charged fuse of evening, and she in her calm feet, her blue dark bones listens, and the chords spill low at the join of the hip, this movement in solace.